Because I have no problem at all. We're still going 57 miles per hour with the, for the freaking bus in front of us. Okay, so we're going to need to get way heavier, right? Oh! Okay, well, the train didn't break, but the game did. What is going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome to Jurassic Park. Yes, BeamNG now has freaking dinosaurs. Uh, at least that's what the mod says. I have not walked in- walked into the park? No, we're playing BeamNG, we're driving into the park. Uh, but I have not driven into the park yet because I wanted to experience this with you guys. So we're in our Jurassic Park cruiser here, and, uh, hopefully it's not like the movie where T-Rex eats us because, uh, I'm not too keen on dying today. Also, what the hell is that noise? Sounds like a dying cat or a cat with a major cold or something. Alright, let's go see what it is. So there's supposed to be a platoon that joins me. I don't know if it's working or not, because I think I'm all alone. That or they already got eaten, so, uh, hopefully them instead of me. What the hell does that say? Is that like a giant post-it note? Do not exit the vehicle. Dude, we're playing BeamNG. I've, I've never been able to exit a vehicle in this game. Oh, decisions. We can either go left or right. Alright, I'm assuming it's a big circle, so it should hopefully wrap back around. Seriously, where's my team? I, I, I guess we're going alone on this one. And yes, we have our first experience at <laughs> some dinosaurs that look a little flat, in my opinion. I didn't know if these would be animated or not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they are. But hey, we're going to experience Jurassic Park and BeamNG. Look at that, though. Isn't he beautiful? Just going to do some teleportation abilities here. And, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, this is br bringing me back to the movie. Excuse me. Excuse me, long neck boy. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's gone. Alright, don't get me wrong, long neck boys are great, but I'm waiting for the, the predators. I see one up ahead! Is that the big boy himself? <laughs> the T-Rex? The paper version, of course, because these guys are flat. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too scared right now. I don't know if a paper T-Rex is really gonna hurt me too much. But yeah, he's chilling. These, uh, these enclosures seem a bit small for these giant dinosaurs. I'm not going to complain, but by the way, that's not the smartest idea to build the T-Rex enclosure inside of a mountain that he can probably pretty easily climb. So I don't think safety was Jurassic Park's first uh, priority, and to be fair, I mean, there's been 15 movies where everybody dies in it, so uh, yeah, that's to be expected, I guess. Alright, going out to the sea now. Do we have a sea-based creature? There's actually an enclosure there, as you can see. Uh, please tell me. Oh, hold on. I have, I have to go down and see. Because, oh god, I forgot, I don't have brakes! I don't have brakes! Okay, well, if there is something in here, I am definitely its food. Can I still drive? Oh my god, what is this thing made out of? I've never been able to drive a vehicle underwater. I'm not really sure what's going on anymore. And bam, we are back on main land. Okay, whoa! I think I fixed my vehicle too, so I guess that resetting, yeah, it does fix it. There we go, now we got some serious speed. Seriously, this this is just this is just cruel and unusual punishment now. Look at look at this guy. The cage is like double the size of him. Imagine living in that. Okay, I, I gotta call PETA on these guys. Alright, and we're back at the bend, I believe, to the outer parts of the park. So yeah, there is uh Jurassic Park in a nutshell, guys. I I didn't die to dinosaurs, but I did just crash into the jungle, so that's great. All right, and it's been a while since we checked out a train in BeamNG. This is a rather new one. It is the Onion Pacific WLD FS30-2 diesel electric locomotive. Now, what's even cooler is we are on the first train racing track. Yes, I never expected to see a train with a checkered board crossing at the front of it. Uh, this is actually an amazing idea. Why is this not a real thing? Why is there not train racing? Because I love that idea. So yes, this was designed to either race or do train drifting where you can actually separate the tracks. Not really sure how that works. I really hope we can get a drift going on though because that sounds amazing. Now let's check out this train first though because it has a lot of controls. All right, let's try and get this baby moving for once. So there's a lot of uh, setup for this. This thing actually took seven months to make, by the way. So props to the developer for fully developing a train from scratch using J-Beam, which is really impressive. All right, Un engine's already on, so we don't have to do that part. We need to release the air brakes. Now we want to go forward. So L, I believe, means forward. Yeah, the range box. I don't even know what a range box is, but... L equals forward, so that's the way we're going. 
Okay. We are officially moving, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pressing the button that I didn't expect we needed to press, but it is giving us forward momentum. Now, I think we can change into different gears. We'll try and get up to full speed in this gear, and I think it's got eight gears, so obviously this is not as fast as this thing goes. I want to see how fast it goes, because obviously trains are fun to crunch things with, and that's probably what we're going to do with this thing. All right, 29 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour. That's pretty impressive in a train. Let's hit this again. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're going to be able to make this puppy fly. Uh, let's look at the cockpit as well. This is actually extremely detailed, as you can see. So, yeah, if you are a train fan, uh, I'm sure you're probably pretty impressed with this. I can't see any complaints at all. I want to see if we can derail this sucker. Like I said, we need to drift this thing as well. Uh, all right, so we're probably pretty much maxed now. Next gear. Can we get it past 100 miles per hour? I feel like that would be a good goal. All right, getting a little bit of wobble going on. I'm noticing uh, we can't really see it now, but let's actually get out of this view for a second. We'll, we'll let our train do our thing. Look at this map. Look at it. Look that. This is like a dream course for a train. All right, back to the train, though. All right, let's just keep going a higher, higher. It's looking like I'm getting diminishing returns on my gearing here, so we might max out at like 70-ish. Don't get me wrong. That's fast for a big old heavy train. And if we, what, is, that, is, that a, is that a train track up there? What is that line? Oh, I'm so curious now. Oh, this is could be where we derail. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this fast. Yep, we're derailing. Okay, so indeed that is confirmed. Uh, you can't derail the train. And look at that. We actually bent it a little bit as well. So we, we had to take those turns a little slower. So there is strategy to this. Like, if you actually wanted to race, I think derailment would be a big thing. All right. Our fastest was about this, 75. So we're going downhill right now, which is really helping us out. I think the max of this train is about 75 miles per hour. If you did better gearing, you might be able to get it up to maybe 80. But it seems to be limiting at about that. All right, let's slow this sucker down. I don't want to derail because I want to experience this map. Look at this place. This is amazing. Still going way too fast. I, I, I don't know I don't know how to brake. Only thing I know how to do is slow this thing down. Oh, this is where we fell last time. Oh, just stay on there, buddy. Just stay on. Oh! <laughs> that was so close. Oh, we can do it. Okay, I have found the air brakes, and this is going to help me immensely. Now we can actually break around turns and keep this thing full throttle. So there we go. I finally defeated the turn boss. And now we're actually going to experience some of these bridges for once. All right, and there we go. Ending off the first bridge here. No big deal. This is such a crazy map, though. I wonder how long it would take to get around this place because this is just turn after turn of bridges coming up. And seriously, what is that in the sky? It's got to be a train track. Now we are reaching the crazy part that blew my mind. Like, look at this. You never see train tracks like this. Again, I'm going a little fast, so we're going to slow it down a little bit. But I got to keep my... Oh, God. Are we lifting? No, don't do this. I spent so much time getting up here. Are you serious? All right, let's actually go. just go take a peek at the rest of this because uh, there's no way I'm going to sit here for five minutes trying to tap the brake, trying to get all the way up here. There is a, a strategy to train driving that I clearly do not have. But what the hell? Uh, you might want to design a tunnel. But hey, this is a work in progress map. I should mention that. So obviously tunnel is very much a work in progress. But seriously, what was that line in the sky? It's got to be on this, tra this trail. Look at this track. This is crazy. Another crazy bendy part on this side of the map. As you can see, very much more of a work in progress over here, but there's like canyons that go through this. It's actually a really cool design. I absolutely love it. And this, let's just go over here. It's got to be it, right? N there's another bridge there. Maybe not. That could just be the horizon. Oh, man. I, th I think it is. So regardless, even if that's not a real train track out there, I'm still going out. Actually, maybe it is. It looked like it was part of the horizon, but I don't think... I think we got it here. Yep, that is indeed a train track that just goes out into the oblivion over there. I, I think that's just a straight track, so that's probably just for speed testing, it looks like. A smart idea, actually, just to have a straight track to see how, how, how fast things go. I don't think it's actually connected to the main track, which is over here, as you can see. All right, well, we already saw that uh, the dynamite delivery is actually dynamite, which I love. I didn't expect that. I was going to throw propane tanks in it. Uh, thinking I would have to manually do it, but no. Can we actually see inside? Okay, so the dynamite is clearly the invisible invisible variety. That's totally fine. It still blows up. 
and uh, that's going to be pretty fun. So I really can't derail now, but you know I am. All right, here comes the evil turn. Are we going fast enough with the added load? I just want to see a really cool slow motion crash. All right, here we go. It's doing it. Oh, yes, this is going to be good. Will it explode, though? Oh, it's going to totally explode. Come on, baby. There she goes. Didn't actually affect the front as much as I hoped for. Uh, this is a very heavy engine, obviously, but still... We had some destruction there, and that felt a lot better than the generic crashes that we've been doing before. I uh, gotta say, I've used quite a few trains in this game, and the J-beam for the trains is very lackluster, usually. This thing actually bends. You can see the engine in here. It's quite detailed, uh, which is always nice. Now let's try and run a giant train into uh, some vehicles, because that sounds fun. All right, so we're going to do a crash test, see how stable this train is. We're going to keep the explodey on because that's always fun. I wonder if that will blow up before the actual part itself. Now, as you can see, I'm lagging already. So how I do it usually is I get progressively more difficult with the crashes. Uh, for this one, we're going to slow this down a little bit. Let's actually try and beat this thing and check out what we got on our railway here. So I thought we'd play a little bit of soccer at the start. Of course, piano as well, because why not? And then we got the Maluch, I think it's called, or something like that. Gavril D, uh, Camper, and then Bus. I got to assume this should hopefully be able to make it at least explode. But hey, it's a big train. I might be surprised as well. We might need to put some heavier things on the tracks. Anyways, how are we going? 69 miles per hour? That's actually faster than what we were doing. So uh, yeah, we're going to be able to hit this at full throttle, basically. All right, going for the punt. There we <laughs> Oh, that was so expected. Wow. Okay, I think... I don't think this is going to affect me at all. This thing... I mean, it's a train. What did I expect? Uh, I honestly thought the train would be fine, but something would hit the uh, dynamite delivery and explode. Because I have no problem at all. We're still going 57 miles per hour with the, for the freaking bus in front of us. Okay, so we're going to need to get way heavier, right? Oh! Okay, well, the train <laughs> didn't break, but the game did. Jesus, what... What was that that exploded? Oh, it's the, the the small car. So the small car broke the game. Great. All right, take two with a little more crunch. Where'd my ball go? Oh, it's all the way down in the forest. I guess we're not going to experience the ball today. Not that that's really going to do anything to this giant train anyways. All right, we're getting a little bit of a collection. We got a whole house here this time. Looks like it already fell over a little bit. Hey, that's fine. Oh, we got explosions in the front. This is a good sign. Come on, really? It's slowing down hard this time but it's not enough to actually explode this thing. That is actually surprising. It looks like we actually got derailed though that time. Well, we know the engine is quite sturdy, but we also know that the dynamite delivery is very much not. So why not put it in the front and see how long this lasts? I wouldn't be surprised if it blows up right here. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, the car's breaking again. Oh God, damn it, really? Really? I didn't even get to experience it. Hold on, what if we tab? Uh, that's, well, that's way out of the way. And everything else is just in this craziness. Great. Well, we have a crazy rave show going on. What the hell? Uh, so it's only on this view over here. Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so we are clearly at the pits of hell. So it did clearly explode. And um, just getting a sit rep on the situation now. Not really sure what happened here, but we have walls of blackness, and these things, were, this thing was actually impacted by the explosion. Oh, hey, thanks for popping in. Okay, bye. Yeah, safe to say, with this many things on the uh, game, it kind of gets a little wonky, as you can see. Where my, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's, it's only in certain views that you can see the uh, destructible building. <laughs> oh, God. What is breaking with this, too? Oh, man, we didn't even hit you yet. All right, so yeah, it's safe to say that uh, it's dangerous to ship dynamite. And we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of BeamNG, checking out some of the newer mods that have come out. More specifically, the Onion Pacific, a really highly detailed train, which is always nice to see. I'm glad there's more trains coming into this game, because it's one thing it didn't have much of. So yeah, if you want to download any of these mods, links should be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.